Hey everybody, what's going on? It's the GZ guy. So today I've got the car jacked up. Still waiting for everything else to get here. Um, but I've decided to put the uh, bell housing uh, TBD transmission cover on the bottom of the car. It's quick, it's easy. Um, and honestly, I just want to be able to do something to the car. Um, so still waiting for everything to get here to do, do all the uh, really good fun stuff. But I figured I'd throw this together, do this, uh, and I'll show you what we got going. So we got the car jacked up. And bear with me here. As we crawl underneath, it's going to be this plate right here towards the back. Uh, I already started that one bolt. And literally that plastic shroud is going to come down. Sorry that I can't get you a real good shot under here. I'm doing the best I can. Um, so... We will be removing that. What you'll need is a 10 millimeter wrench or socket, and we'll be replacing it with the new aluminum one, uh, which I showed you in a previous video. So I will try to get some shots of me doing all that for you guys. Again, I will uh, talk you through it once we get it done and show you what it looks like once it's on there. All right, guys, there you go. So the old one's off. Um, again, super simple process uh, when you're under the car. There's literally uh, five screws that you take out, one in each corner, one in the center, and then two of the plastic retaining clips that are in the uh, center part here. Um, fl flathead screwdriver, you just get in there to pop those out. Again, super simple, um, but as you can see, the old is just plastic flimsy. And we got the new one here. Uh, it's going to be the reverse process minus the two retention clips. That's not on here. Uh, but as you can see, it's going to be a lot more solid. So I'm going to get this unwrapped, get it mounted up underneath the car, and I'll get you some shots from there. All right, guys. So we got it installed. Uh, I'll crawl under there and show you here real quick. Um, but first I found, so they have it notched out on the, uh, the mounting points. Uh, what I did was I used the center one. Uh, just went finger tight with it so that way I could adjust it back and forth how I needed before tightening everything up uh, super simple super easy like I said this isn't isn't a performance mod or anything like that it's just extra layer of protection if you will uh, peace of mind it's a lot more sturdy than the stock plastic one and you know it adds a little bit of aesthetic to your vehicle as well so let's go ahead and turn around and take a look at it all right guys so <laughs> As we crawl under here, it matches up nicely with my uh, my aluminum shroud I already have under here. So there it is. Like I said, super quick and easy. Uh, just that extra peace of mind. And it looks nice. Not that anybody ever sees the underneath of your car. But you know it's there. So once again, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for checking in. I just want to do this quick video for you. Um, like I said, I told you guys I would let you know when I start putting some of the parts I already have uh, acquired onto the vehicle. So I just wanted to do that for you. Um, if you like what you see, give me a like, subscribe. Thank you so much for checking in, guys. Remember, be kind to each other. Until next time, it's the GZ guy. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.